Good afternoon, gardening friends. This is the fifth installment on palms in my Zone 8B garden. And today we're going to be talking about the needle palm. The Latin name is Rapidophyllum hystrix. Rapis is Greek for needle. This is my oldest needle palm. This one is probably about, oh, I'd say 20 years old. I got it the same time that I got this jelly palm and the Canary Island date palm. This section of the garden was what I created to house my palms. It was one time my palm garden and then I decided to spread the palms around the property because I could. <laughs> uh, the needle palm is the hardiest of palms. I'm surprised I don't see it sold more. Uh, it is a very armored palm. The reason why it has is called needle palm is it has six inch needles near the base of the trunk. It's basically on the trunk itself. Uh, there's no needles or dangers anywhere else. This is the oldest one that I have. That particular palm is located in a north-facing, or on a north-facing wall. So it doesn't get an awful lot of sunlight. This palm is about five years younger. So it's about 10 years old. It's a needle palm too. It gets pretty much a full sun exposure. There's a lot of Kimberly fern that grew up inside of this palm. And I'll show you the reason why I don't go after it to get it out of there shortly. So that needle palm is probably, oh, I'd say about 10 years old. And these are about six or seven years old. I got two needle palms. They are available from Lowe's and Home Depot sometimes. And then these, this palm and this palm were planted at the same time. They're both needle palms. And I'll zoom in on the needles. Here you can see the trunk close up. Let me needle down here. And I've got to be careful. There are no needles in the ground, but the needles are here, basically on the trunk itself. I don't know if you can see them. I'll try to very carefully pull one out without getting stuck. There you can see the needle itself. Uh, they're pretty strong. They're a clean needle in that if you get stuck with them, they pull out of your flesh cleanly, but they're only on the trunk. They're nowhere else. So as long as you stay away from the trunk itself and they're not on the ground, so as long as you stay away from the trunk itself, you'll do fine. Uh, the needles can get as long as six inches. So they're pretty nasty needles. But again, they uh, pull out easily. There are some palms when you pull the needles out that the tips break off under the skin. This is not one of them. So. It's not a bad palm to have, but now you see why that Kimberly fern has invaded the trunk of this particular needle palm, and uh, it's gonna stay there. <laughs> it's not hurting the palm in any way, but uh, in order to pull it out, you've gotta get near the root of it to, uh, or the stem of it to pluck it out, and it's very close to the needles. I did try a demo today, and it turns out that the uh, 
needle will go through, of course it'll go through cloth. So if you read on the internet about needle palms, uh, I read a couple of articles yesterday that said, oh, just wear clothing, long sleeve shirts. And it's like, yeah, it'll go through that in a skinny minute. It went through cloth gloves and it went through rubber gloves, but it did not go through leather gloves. Okay, and here is, oh, actually, here's Mimi's wicked stepsister, Baby. They don't get along real well, but they tolerate each other. Mimi is sleeping in the house right now, but using my palm book, again, it's Betruck's Guide to Landscape Palms, and under... Rapidophyllum hystrix or needle palm. These are the entries. I have read, although this says a hardiness zone is 8 to 10B, I have read that it has grown or it does, how can I say this? There are natural occurrences of it into the Carolinas. So it's it does tolerate northern climes. Uh, typical height is about 5 feet. It typically does not form a trunk. It rather forms a thick ball of uh, fronds. To get it to form this trunk, what I do is I prune up the fronds around the side so it exposes that trunk more. A little bit easier to see the needles. Uh, the nice thing about needle palm is it's, uh, let's see, growth rate is slow. But the nice thing about it is it has no major pest problems and no major disease problems. So you don't have to worry about yellowing and all the other problems that some of my other palms have. It says its habit is clustering, essentially trunkless, stem prostrate or erect, six to 18 leaves. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. To be truthful, mine have bloomed and they've reseeded or I should say they've seeded quite easily. And in fact, I have a very small needle palm in my front yard in the uh, camellia garden. If you go through some of the old videos I've posted, you'll see it's only about 10 or 12 inches tall. It would be taller, however, uh, I moved it about four times <laughs> in the last five or six years. So they're very easy to, well, small ones are very easy to transplant. I don't know what the roots would be like on the bigger ones. Uh, so there you have it. Repetophyllum hystrix. Or needle palm. Have a good day.